Welcome to the support videos for Digital Business Automation video series. This video will demonstrate how to manually delete a Control-M Enterprise Manager user account when the account cannot be removed using the GUI. When attempting to delete a Control-M Enterprise Manager user account from within the Control-M Configuration Manager, the account isn't removed and there are no error messages shown. A possible reason this can occur is if the user account has special characters in the general authorizations table of the EM server database. Here I am in my Control-M Configuration Manager interface. I click on the Security tab and I click on Authorizations. My EM Authorizations dialog box pop open and here I have a few users. Now the user that I would like to remove is called test user one. I highlight the user and I move my mouse over to the X button to delete the user account. When I do, I'm prompt for a dialog box. I hit yes. However, notice that test user one is still there, but I can delete other users. As an example, I will delete test user seven. I have him highlighted. I go and delete him again, confirm, he's gone. And then I can delete another user as another example. Let me show you how we're gonna resolve this. We're gonna highlight the EM server components. We need to set the desired state of the GUI server component to down. So I'm going to right click the GUI server, desired state, it's going to be down. It's going to ask me to confirm. I'm going to say yes. Now, while that's shutting down, I do want to remind you that this will not impact your jobs running in the control M. This will only impact your users from monitoring the jobs in control M. Now that the GUI server is down, the next thing we need to do is perform a backup or export of the enterprise manager servers user authorization table you'll need to log into the EM server to perform this action. In my example, I have a Unix Linux EM server and the utility I'm gonna use is called EM Util. Now on Windows, you simply use Util. You can get more information about the utility by running the command EM space Util without any parameters or reviewing our control M utility guide. Here I'm going to run the EM util utility. I'm performing an export of only the user authorizations of the EM server database and I'm exporting it to a file called emuser.out. Okay, my database is now exported or backed up. The next thing we need to do is log into a SQL prompt in the Enterprise Manager server database and query for our user, test user one. I'm using a third-party SQL client, and what I'm going to do is run a simple select query. I'm basically searching uh, the two columns in the general authorizations table, and I'm filtering it for our, our user test user one. If you have any issues with uh, running these uh, SQL queries, please reach out to your database administration team so they can assist you with this. Now that we verify that the record exists, we have to delete it. So now what I'm gonna do is run a simple delete statement. I'm deleting from the general authorizations table uh, where a username is like uh, user one. Now it's very important that you use a where clause so you can filter out the results set. So when I run this, and just to show that it actually worked, I'm going to go back to my original select statement, and I should not get any results here. So I'll do a select, rerun, and notice the user, test user one is now removed. We're going to go back into the control M configuration manager interface and also show you that this user is no longer there. I go to security, authorizations, and as you can see as well, test user one is no longer there. 
I'm going to close this out and now I'm going to restart uh, my GUI server so that my end users can now uh, monitor the control M environment. This concludes our Control M Solutions video. On the BMC Software Control M YouTube channel, you can find many more videos like this one. Thank you.